Now let us talk about conditional statements. So wherever in the code if we need to take a decision on basis of a condition, we require decision statements or you can say conditional statements. So to explain this concept what I am doing is I am declaring a variable of type boolean and assigning a value of true to it and I am displaying in message box my name on basis of a condition. So to apply the condition what you need to do is you need to surround your statements with an if and an if statements. Whatever is inside that if and end if block would get executed if the condition is true. So you can see that a equals true is actually a true. The condition would be passing and therefore in message box you are saying my name. If I make a as false you see that if I run the code I do not see any message box because the condition fails and therefore whatever inside the condition is not executing. Now there is another way of applying condition if we want that if the condition is failing we want to execute something else. So for that we need to have a else block as well. So you need to put else here and then let's say we add another message box saying extreme automation. So now if the condition fails you would see extreme automation. So that is how we can put if and else and end if block. Now let us try it on integers. So I make a as integer now and uh, I take that input from user. So I add an input box setting and enter any number. All right. So the user would be entering a number and in the condition let's say I say that if this number a is greater than or less than a particular number. So that is actually a condition which I am going to put and on the basis of that condition I am going to take the decision. So let's say I say a greater than 100 then display Kamal. If it is not then display extreme automation. So I enter 40 here as input I see extreme automation because the code in the else block was executed and if I make it let's say 200 or something else which is greater than 100 it will be displaying Kamal. Alright. So this way we can add if else blocks. This if else block can have another if else block and it can have multiple if else one inside other. This concept is known as nesting of if else statements. Now to see an example of multiple if else statements let's say we want to apply a logic which is like uh, if the number which user is entering is between 10 and 50 then it should display in message box Kamal and if the number is less than 10 then it should display Kirdar. Right so we write the code for it if a is less than 10 then in message box I straight away say that it should display Kirdar. But if it is not true so I am talking about the else block. So we have a look at the else block of the code that we have written. This else block would get executed only if a is less than 10 is not true. That means a can be 10 or it can be greater than 10. Right. So in the first condition which we want to implement it says that a should be greater than or equal to 10. But on the other hand it should have a value less than 50. That means we need two conditions. One condition is already satisfied if we are in the else block. The second condition we need to put here. So that's why I'm adding if a is less than 50 then display Kamal and let's say if it is not true then display none. Right. So that was the third condition let's say for, uh, that we have. Now let's say the user enters 21 so it would display Kamal and if the user enters uh, a number greater than 100 for example let's say 333 in that case it displays none. So that is how we are able to successfully implement the conditional statements. Apart from if else we have another type of conditional statement which is select case. Let's say we ask user to enter a number between 1 and 7 and on the basis of it we want to print the day. So select case on the value d which will come in the bracket and it will end with end select. Now we talk about multiple values of d. So let's say one possible value of d is 1. So I put a case here that case 1 and then colon. That means if the value of d would be 1 in that case whatever below this case 1 would get executed. So I display Monday here. Right. So now let's say we want to have conditions for all the days. So I just copy and paste this thing and uh, I just change the values here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and on the basis of it I am displaying in message box the days. Right. But since we are asking user to enter a number, a user may enter any number which is outside the range. Right. That value could be negative value or maybe something which is greater than 7. So we let's say want to cover all those values. So it won't be possible that we specify all those values here in the select case. 
but yes we can specify a default value that if there is anything which is not passing in the cases that we have mentioned and if there is any other value comes here in that case we want to perform something else so for that what we need to do is we need to put a case else block and then we will print a message box stating invalid number right so if the value is not inside that range for all those values we'll get this message box that is how we can use select case in our logic